Do you ever wonder how you could possibly create your own lettering style? Are you struggling with comparing yourself to others? I'm so glad you're here. Join me in creating your own confident lettering style with this YouTube series called 26 Ways to Letter. Hey friends, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. Thank you so much for checking out this video. All right, 26 ways to letter H. As always, I'll be using my book, Fearless Lettering, and I'll link to that below. So today I'll be using my Tombow Fudenosuke, I think is how you say it, soft nib and hard nib. I just call it Tombow Feud, and I'm sure that's wrong. And you can see they're both the same nib, the same size, just one is harder, more firm, and one is softer. So I'll use the hard one for the lowercase and then the soft one for uppercase. So H is just two basic strokes, the ascending loop and the overturn curve. And you can see with this pen, I can get really thin upstrokes. My down strokes aren't as thick as you'll see with the soft nib, but the upstrokes are really thin because it's firm. I'm not even struggling at all getting those. So this first one has a taller overturn. This one is a very sharp curve. And this one has just a little loop. Once again, a longer exit stroke. This one has a pretty ascending loop. This one is a little more loopy at the top and then skinny at the bottom. And this one is very simple with no loop. This one is thicker on the entrance stroke and it's, it looks a little bit more chunky. This one, the ascending loop exit stroke is higher than the regular baseline. And this one is really loopy and then has just a tiny little exit stroke. This is one of those the ascending loop comes from the other side than normal. And this one is a lot wider and shorter. And this one is really tall. Maybe you could fit in another word in that downstroke. So now for uppercase, I'm switching my pen, and you'll see I get a lot thicker upstrokes and thicker downstrokes. So this first stage just has a little loop on the side. This one is loopy on the left side. This one is very straight, and the cross stroke is in the top and this one the cross stroke is in the bottom and now it's kind of bubbling out so when i first started uppercase h was definitely not my favorite letter and now i have learned to like a few of them <laughs> there's still some that they just look weird to me and i don't like it and that's okay so that one on the right has a lot of loops in every place this one is a little more straight, but still kind of elegant and flowy. And this one has loops once again, and it's slanted. That would connect very nicely to the next letter. And this one has a nice little curvy stroke. Here's another one with lots of those loops. And here's one with the serif. And you could definitely make larger serifs than just this. And here's a little curvy one. It's not as sharp as the others. So now, looking at all of these, you get to choose which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and come up with your own. Hopefully one of these will inspire you to find something that you love. For the word of the week, I got so many good H words. 
Thank you for all of your suggestions. If you want to contribute to I next week, comment with an uplifting I word. I think that one's going to be hard. So I'm showing you the difference here between the hard nib and the soft nib. You can see this one is the hard nib. You can get really, really thin upstrokes really easily too. And so if this is the kind of style that you like, this might be your favorite pen. <laughs> so I chose the two words, hopeful hearts, because hope was a big suggestion and I was really feeling it. And heart, I was loving that today because I realize a lot of times I don't understand my emotions, but I say my heart is feeling this. And when I do that, it kind of places these emotions on something else besides just me so I can kind of analyze them and see how I need to change what I'm feeling or why I'm feeling a certain way. And as we have hopeful hearts, we can get through anything. So you could see with my soft nib, it's a lot more quirky of a feeling. The upstrokes aren't always the same size. And so if you like that style, maybe the soft nib will be your favorite pen. Thank you for watching. Please join me again next time and subscribe below so you don't miss it. <laughs>